in this video i will show you the average power absorbed in a rl series circuit see i have a resistor r here which is in series with an inductor whose inductance is l and i am applying an alternating voltage v equal to vm sin omega t in this rl series circuit here applied voltage v equal to vm sin omega t as this is an inductive circuit in an inductive circuit our current i lags the applied voltage v by an amount of phi or our voltage v leads current i by an angle of phi the value of the phi will be less than 90 degree but must be greater than 0 degree if v equal to vm sin omega t as current i lags v by phi therefore the equation of instantaneous current will be equal to i equal to i m sin omega t minus phi this minus phi indicates that i is lagging the voltage by an angle of phi now see we have the instantaneous voltage and instantaneous current if i want to calculate the instantaneous power in the circuit instantaneous power will be p which is the multiplication of instantaneous voltage v and instantaneous current i v is given by vm sin omega t and i is given by i m sin omega t minus phi see here we have vm and i m here so from this equation i can write vm i m sin omega t into sin omega t minus phi now we know the formula 2 sin a sin b is equal to cosine a minus b minus cosine a plus b so I will take this sin omega t and sin omega t minus phi in this 2 sin a sin b form. If I consider this omega t as a and this omega t minus phi as b. To take sin omega t into sin omega t minus phi in this form I have to take half here vm i m by 2 into 2 sin omega t into sin omega t minus phi now see 2 sin omega t into sin omega t minus phi from here i can write vm i m by 2 into cosine a minus b that means omega t minus omega t plus phi minus cosine omega t plus omega t minus phi okay now see here i will get p m i m by 2 cosine phi minus p m i m by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi this is the equation of instantaneous power p let's say this is our equation number one now if i want to take the average value of this instantaneous power that will be the average power that is absorbed in the series rl circuit that average power i will express that with p a b g i will take the average value of the first term vm i m by 2 cosine phi and i will take the average value of the second term vm i m by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi let's say this is our equation number 2 now see vm i m by 2 cosine phi this is a constant quantity therefore over twice phi interval i will get its average value equal to p 
Vm I m by 2 cosine phi. Now look at the second term. This is the second term. This is a time varying quantity because here we have 2 omega t. Okay. Therefore, we have to calculate the average value of the second term analytically. Now, let me show you how do we calculate the average value of the second term. We calculate the average value of any waveform by taking the ratio of area under that waveform over full cycle divided by the period of that cycle. Here, I will consider the area of second term of the instantaneous power over twice phi interval and period of that interval will be twice phi. Now see, to find the average value of Vm I m by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi, at first you have to know about the wave shape of this Vm I m by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi. Now let me show you that after that I will talk about average value of this second term. See, if I have an waveform of this shape, this is known as cosine omega t. See, at phase angle minus 90 degree, it has its origin. At 0 degree, it has its positive maximum value. At this point, it has its 0 point. At this point, it has its negative maximum. At this point, it has its zero value. So, this will be a complete cycle. Now, see, if I draw cosine 2 omega t, that means within one period, it will complete two full cycles. See, from this point to this point. See, at 90 degree it has its negative maximum. At this point it has its negative maximum. That means from this point to this point it has its let's say first full cycle and from this point to this point it will have its second full cycle that means within one full cycle of cosine omega t it will complete two full cycles within that interval okay now see cos 2 omega t has an origin at this point and this is the 45 degree point okay now see we have to draw cosine 2 omega t minus phi omega t cosine 2 omega t minus phi phase angle is minus phi that means the origin of this cosine 2 omega t will shift in right a small angle of phi and that phi will be less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degree therefore if I draw see this was the origin of cosine 2 omega t as the origin is shifted right a bit by an angle of phi therefore this waveform will indicate cosine 2 omega t minus phi now if i consider the maximum value of this quantity is vm i m by 2 its negative maximum will be minus Vm I m by 2. Okay, so this waveform, this blue waveform will indicate our second term Vm I m by 2 cosine omega t minus phi. And this red waveform, let's say, will indicate our first term Vm I m by 2 cosine phi. This phi has an angle of less than 90 degree greater than 0 degree therefore this cosine phi will always be less than 1 therefore as i am considering this point as vm i m by 2 therefore vm i m by 2 into cosine phi will be less than this vm i m by 2 okay so this is our vm i m by 2 cosine omega t minus phi i am i will consider from 0 to twice phi intervals.
see the green shaded portion will be our positive area so these are the area covered by the second term of the instantaneous power over 0 to twice 5 interval and this portion this red shaded portion will be the area covered by the negative half cycles of the second term of the instantaneous power now see if you look closely you will see this will be a positive half cycle let's say the area of this positive half cycle get cancelled with this negative half cycle area now see this is a negative half cycle see this portion of this positive half cycle and this portion of this positive half cycle will form a complete positive half cycle like this which will get cancelled by this negative half cycle therefore i can say that if i have an waveform of vm im by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi the area the sum of area covered by positive half cycles will be equal to the sum of area covered by the negative half cycles therefore the total area or sum of area of the positive and negative portion of this vm im by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi over full cycle or from 0 to twice phi will be equal to 0 so the algebraic sum of this vm im by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi will be equal to 0 over 0 to twice phi interval and how do we calculate the area of this term over twice phi interval simply by taking the integration of that 0 to twice phi vm im by 2 cosine 2 omega t minus phi with respect to d omega t divided by twice phi the integration will be equal to zero because positive and negative areas will be equal therefore i will get average value equal to zero so here i will get p average equal to vm im by 2 cosine phi minus zero so it will be equal to vm im by 2 cosine phi average power absorbed in the RL series circuit is Vm im by 2 cosine phi see I can write it like this Vm by root 2 into Im by root 2 into cosine phi there you will see Vm by root 2 Im by root 2 is the RMS value and RMS value of the voltage and current so I can write it like this VRMS into IRMS into cosine phi this will be our average power okay that's it thank you